me today. First thing we're going to do is we're going to put on our yoga goggles. Can you guys put on your yoga goggles? Can I see? Put them on. <gasps> Beautiful. Oh my gosh, you guys look amazing. I love it. And we're going to put our yoga goggles on our knees. Take a deep breath in. And we're going to start with a very special sound. And it's a sound to remind us that we are all connected even when we're apart. And it sounds like this. Om. So I'm going to say it and I want you to say it with me like this. Deep breath in. Om. What a beautiful sound. I can hear all of you guys. It's amazing. And I like to own before I meditate. And this is how I meditate. I say, peace begins with me. Can you do it with me? Peace begins with me. Can you whisper? Peace begins with me. Now just right here in your own mind like this. You can close your eyes if you want to. Let me see how still you can be. I want to see everybody be still like a statue. Wonderful. Now I'm going to tell you a little secret. When you don't meditate, your mind becomes so wild, so wild. So you have to meditate. Today we're going to have a special meditation because we're Shiro's, right? So I want everybody to put your hands like this on your heart and say with me, when I feel powerless, I remember I can be a hero by helping, being kind, and doing all I can do. So let's say that one more time. When I feel powerless, I remember I can be a hero by helping, being kind, and doing all I can do. We're going to do some superhero breaths. So you have your emblem right here, your superhero outfit's on, right? Every time you breathe, you're going to open up your hero outfit. Are you ready? And again. Now open your cape so everybody can see. I love it. Deep breath. All right. Now just do what I do. We're going to stretch. To be superheroes, we got to get our bodies moving and ready to, to save people and to help and do all we can do. So just do what I do. Like this and like this. Now put your feet together like this and butterfly. And flap your butterfly wings. Wonderful. Put your legs out and reach to one side. And the other. Beautiful. Now, I think we're ready to be a superhero. So every superhero starts, has a journey. This is hero, OK? All right, so we're flying through the sky, through the city, looking for people to help. A superhero's day starts by waking up. They wake up and they say, oh, it's time for another superhero day. Oh, I'm hungry. I better get some breakfast. So he goes to the table, or she goes to the table, and she gets her favorite food, a peanut butter sandwich. It's filled with protein that heroes need, right? They put on their cape. They set out the door. And they fly. And the first thing they do is they see some kids at a park who need help getting up the slide. Lift up your bellies. Take a deep breath in. <sighs> Yay, the kids say. And the Shiro feels so proud. So she goes flying some more. She helps people solve their problems, just like the great Sphinx. Let me see you be a Sphinx. And then she flies some more. She flies to a whole different part of the world, because she's that fast. And she notices a little kitty cat stuck in a tree. And just like the superhero she is, switch sides, she helps them get out of the tree. The kitty cat says, thank you. The superhero feels pretty proud, but she still has more work to do. So she 
flies, looking all around for people she can help. And then she thinks to herself, you know, in order for me to help people, I have to help myself too. I'm very tired, so I'm going to take a rest. And I'm going to get a snack. So she stops and she gets a pretzel from a food cart downtown. Take a deep breath in. She decides to put a little mustard on the pretzel, switch sides. And she continues her journey to help people flying through the city and the countryside. She helps people until the sun goes down and the moon comes up. And one thing she notices, she feels very powerful. So everybody watch what I do. She feels so powerful. Good job. Now switch sides. You got it. Good job. She decides, I need to rest. And so she does. She goes to bed, tucks herself in, and she feels pretty happy with herself. All right, stand back up. Jump all the way up. I'm going to turn to the side so you guys can see me, OK? I'm going to say something, and I want you to say it after me. Can you do that? All right. Namaste. Good job. Butterfly up. Butterfly down. Ragdoll. Ragdoll. Jump back. Plank pose. Downward dog. Upward dog. Downward woof. Upward oh. Downward dog. Jump forward. Ragdoll. Ragdoll. Butterfly up. Namaste. And namaste, it just means hi. It means hello. All right, we're going to do it again. I want to make sure everybody has on their mindful ears, their yoga goggles, and you repeat after me, OK? Namaste. Butterfly up. Butterfly down. Ragdoll. Ragdoll. Jump back. Plank pose. Downward dog. Upward dog. Downward whoop. Upward oh. Downward dog. Jump forward. Ragdoll. Ragdoll. Butterfly up. Namaste. One more time, and this time it's going to be different, so you better be paying attention. Namaste. Butterfly up. Butterfly down. Touch your toes. Touch your toes. Step back. Plank pose. Downward dog. Three legged dog. Other side. Downward dog. Jump forward. Chair pose. Rock your chair. Rock your chair. Touch your toes. Butterfly up. Namaste. All right, we're going to learn some new poses today. So the first pose we're going to learn is hero pose. So everybody, get down on the ground, and you're going to sit on your feet. You're going to take a deep breath in. Bring your shoulders to your ears. And down. One more time. And down. Now you're going to lift up all the way. And arms come up. And let's remember what we said earlier. When I feel powerless, I remember I can be helpful. So reach your fingertips up. Think of one way you can be a helpful Shiro. And rest. Now everybody, come onto your belly. We're going to learn Supergirl Pose. 
All right, so bring your hands like this in front of you. And when I say one, two, three, you're gonna lift up. One, two, three, lift your feet and your arms and fly. Now straighten your arms and go turbo speed. Beautiful. And rest. All right, very slowly. Come all the way up to a standing. We're gonna stand on top of a mountain. Deep breath in. And we're gonna practice our powerful pose. So our powerful pose, we grab one foot. Take a deep breath. And we reach our foot out. Now, if you're near a wall, you can use a wall to help you. Or a couch or chair. Deep breath. <laughs> Say, I am powerful. Keep trying. If you fall, it's okay because it takes practice. And then we'll do the other side. Deep breath in. And the other side. Keep trying. Deep breaths in. Beautiful. Stand tall. We're going to play a game called Yogi Says. When I say to do one of those three poses, you do them. If Yogi doesn't say though, you don't do it. All right? Just like Simon says. Okay. Yogi says, be a hero. Yogi says, be Supergirl. Now take a rest. Good job. Yogi says, take a rest. Yogi says, hike a mountain. Now do your powerful pose. Good job listening, guys. Yogi says, do your powerful pose. Now switch sides. Ah, Yogi didn't say. Yogi says, switch sides. Yogi says, let's help a kitty cat. Meow. 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 And maybe her cow friend, by giving them some food. Yogi says, be a plank. Now be a downward dog. Good job. Yogi says, be a downward dog. Yogi says, finish your hero journey in whatever pose you want. All right, friends, let's get ready for our story. So it's called Dex, the heart of a hero. Can you see? OK, perfect. I'm going to sit more comfortably. Dexter was a little dog. His legs were little. His tail was little. His body was little. He looked like a little plump sausage sitting on four little meatballs. Being the size that he was, Dex was often overlooked. The other dogs grew tired of waiting for Dex to catch up when they played chase. And after a while, they forgot to invite him at all. No one really seemed to notice him except when Clevis, the tomcat, demonstrated how he could stand right over Dex and not even ruffle his fur. Yes, everything was about Dex was little, except for his dreams. He wanted to be a hero. He could just see it. This is him imagining. The mighty Dex flew up into the dark and starry night. But wanting and being are two very different things. Dex lived on dreams until one day, after crawling out from under Clevis yet again, he decided there had to be more to life than gazing at the underside of a cat. There had to be more to him. If he could be a hero, he would. So Dex started training. He read every superhero comic book he could find. He watched every hero movie he ever made. He even went to the library. Furiously he studied, knowing everything depended on him. Dex figured that a hero must have strong muscles. He needed exercise and lots of it. Dex started trotting to the corner and back every morning. He hopped over every crack in the sidewalk. 
He struggled to climb the garbage pile, up and over and down, then up and over and down again. All day long he worked, day after day. Even at bedtime when he wanted to flop on the rug with his tongue hanging out, Dex forced himself to circle five extra times. The mighty Dex pressed on through wind and rain and storm and fatigue. When it got easier to run to the corner and back, Dex did it again and then again. Then he dragged a sock filled with sand as he ran, then two socks. When Clevis was bored and stood in the middle of the sidewalk to block his way, Dex dropped to the ground and slid right under him. He was too busy to be bothered by Clevis. Dex was tired. He was sore. He was working so hard that he almost forgot what he was working for. But one night, as he dragged himself to bed after his last set of push-ups, Dex stopped in front of the mirror and, and flexed. He could feel them. He could see them. Muscles! Faster than a rolling ball, stronger than the toughest rawhide, able to leap tall fences in a single bound. Now, Dex didn't take the stairs. He skimmed them. He leaped over hydrants. He vaulted up curbs. He could jump over the garbage mountain without touching the top. He could run like the wind. He felt as if his legs had springs. Only one thing was missing. Finally, a small brown package arrived. Dex ripped it open. His hero suit! <gasps> It was red with a shiny green cape and it felt and it fit like a glove. Dex loved the way it felt. He loved the way it looked and he loved the feeling he had when he put it on. He was ready. You guys put on your hero capes. The one that you're going to have. Put them on. With the courage of a lion, the strength of a bear and the heart of a hero. When Dex went out in his suit for the very first time, he looked up the street and down. He noticed a very young pup trying to cross the street. Dex sprang into action. May I help you? He asked. He guided the wide-eyed pup across the street and grinned as the pup stared up at him with his mouth hanging open. The pup whispered, Wow, it's Super Dog. Super Dog. Dex liked the sound of that. Of course, when Clevis saw Dex, he just had to comment, Hey, Dex, where's the party? And when he saw him a few days later, Clevis called out, Look, everybody, it must be Halloween. Anybody got a treat for Dex? Dex was so busy that he was able to ignore Clevis for the most part. The only time he f his face ever got red was when Clevis yelled, Where'd you get that dress up? Dex had to wonder if Clevis saw anything but the suit. Didn't he understand that the suit was just a way to get people to know he was there to help? The sun glinted off his emerald cape as Superdog raced to the rescue. There was a mouse he saved from a sewer. A purse snatcher he tackled. He fixed his neighbor's sprinkler. He found a lost kitten, pulled a rat away from a live wire, tracked down a lost wallet, put out a trash fire, and organized a neighborhood cleanup day. It seemed that now, whenever anyone needed help, they turned to Dex, and Dex had never been happier. Smile big. He's such a happy dog. Late one evening, there was a banging at the door. When Dex answered, it seemed as if the whole neighborhood was yipping and yowling in panic. Woo! It's Clevis, they shouted. He's stuck in a tree. Hurry, Dex, hurry. Dex raised his eyebrows. It was not like Clevis to move enough to even get into any trouble. In a flash, he was dressed and ready. Should he help him? He should help him. It was clearly a desperate situation. As he got closer, Dex could see Clevis. He had been chasing a squirrel to the top of the tree, but had slipped and was hanging by one claw from a slender branch. He was yowling for all he was worth. Oh no, I'm slipping, Clevis screeched, help me. Dex looked desperately around for something to climb on. There were no boxes or ladders, not even any trash cans. Then Dex looked at the crowd. Quick everybody, Dex shouted, I've got an idea. Dex leaped onto the end of the teeter-totter facing the tree, pushing it to the ground. Everybody on the other end, one, two, three. All the animals jumped together on the other end of the teeter-totter, catapulting Dex into the air. He soared over the crowd, his ears and cape streaming out behind him. The mighty Dex flew up into the dark and starry night. You guys fly, fly into the dark and starry night, just like Dex. Good job. Dex scrambled onto the branch next to Clevis. Quickly, he pulled off his cape and tied its four corners onto the screeching cat. Jump, Dex shouted. Jump, Clevis. Can you guys jump? Jump, jump up. Jump, 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 there you go. Super dog, super dog. With an ear piercing shriek, Clevis let go. The billowing cape caught the air and parachuted the big cat to the ground. Dex backed up and slid to the ground amidst the cheers of the crowd. 
Dex was bruised and tired, but he forgot his discomfort as Clevis sheepishly lumbered over, still tangled in the, gar in the green cape. Thanks, Dex. You really are a hero. Super dog! Super dog! Dex didn't think he could feel any better, but he did, just a little, the next day, when Clevis sidled up next to him and whispered, Say, Dex, could I be your partner? Dex looked the big tomcat up and down. It would take a lot of work to turn Clevis into a hero. He could hardly wait. Sure, said Dex with a grin. Sure. With twice the brains and triple the brawn, our heroes forge on, ever ready to lend a helping paw. All right, everybody. We're going to rest because every hero has to rest. So can I have everybody lay down? If you have a mat at home, lay on your mat. If not, that's OK. Just lay down where you are. Lay down. First thing we're going to do is we're going to put our hands on our belly. And we're going to feel our breath. So take a deep breath in. Feel your hands move away from your belly as you take a deep breath. And another one. One more. Now stretch one leg out and then the other. Stretch one arm out overhead and then the other. And stretch your fingers and your toes as far away from each other as you possibly can. And squeeze all your muscles, make them tight tight, 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 until they just fall down to the ground, very relaxed. Now, if you want to, close your eyes and think of your own superhero outfit. What would you wear? Now think of how you would help. Would you help animals, other people, everybody? Put on your cape and fly. Imagine and pretend to fly through the sky, helping others. Notice how you feel as you're spreading kindness and sharing with others your gifts and your talents as a superhero. Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out and say, <sighs> when you're ready, turn on your side. And before we sit back up, let's think of one way we can help other people, even though we have to stay kind of far apart right now. There are still so many ways we can help our own families and other people. Let's think of a way we can do that. And let's know that when we are helpful and kind, that is all being a superhero is. Now take your superhero hands, sit back up and crisscross applesauce. And every superhero needs to have a calm mind. So let's practice our meditation again. Close your eyes and say with me, when I feel powerless, I remember I can be helpful, kind, and do all that I can do. Now repeat after me. Peace begins with me. Peace begins with me. Now whisper. Peace begins with me. Now just your own mind. And I'm going to look and see who's being as still and quiet as a statue. Awesome. Put one hand on your belly and one hand on your chest. Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. 
And we're going to do one more superhero breath. So Supergirl and Superman, they have a breath where they can uh, make everything really cold. So they, they do this. They go, and they blow it everywhere like this. Try that one more time. Awesome. And I always like to close with our closing wish, which goes like this. May the whole world be filled with peace and joy, love and light, and lots of peaceful children. And then we say namaste to everybody. All right, you guys go out and be helpful and be kind and do all that you can do and know that you're being a Shiro. Yes? Awesome, it was so good to see you guys.